Hey guys, Leo with Dreaming Tree. Today we're putting together our little chef hat cookie jar. And I've got all my pieces here in front of me, as you probably do too. And we're gonna start off by putting together the main structure here, the, the base of it, the compartment that's gonna hold our little gift or our cookies, whatever you wanna call them. And you'll notice that we have 12 of these strips. We got four, eight, 12. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them that have little identifiers on them. And let me actually draw these in so that you understand how this works. Okay, so here is the Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three. And then we have Roman numeral four is actually four dashes in the shape of a square or a circle. Okay, and then a five is that same little circle with the four dashes with a Roman numeral one and a Roman numeral two and a three and so on and so forth. Now the reason that these are numbered is because we have little identifiers here on these for the word cookies. Okay, and we do need to glue these on individually. So go ahead and get these lined up one through seven. Okay, is that seven, four, five, yeah, seven. And we're gonna start putting the letters in place. Now you'll notice that uh, the reason that they're ordered is because each one has a unique set of identifiers to help you position these accurately. And that is why you need to make sure that we keep them in order. Okay, you know, we could have had you guess how to position everything, but I wanna make life easy for you and enjoyable so that everything comes out nice and consistent and so that the letters are essentially on the same plane. All right, so I'm on section number three, grabbing my second O. Okay, and we'll pop that in place. Again, there are some little markers there to help you with the placement. So just make sure that you're using those to your advantage. And of course, you still wanna kinda of give it the old visual approval. <clears throat> okay, so number four is for the letter K. And I am just using little dots here. I'm not really leaving a trail of glue. Just going with the dots to keep it nice and tidy. And again, using the little identifiers there, the markers to help me. Okay, now I'm on piece number five. It's the letter I. And just a few dots. Okay, use the markers. Get those nice and centered. Cookies. Now obviously you could change that up if you'd like. And just wanna make sure I've got the right ones in place here. So now once we actually have the letters in place. We don't really need to worry too much about the little numerals there. We can just use the word as our guide when we put these little strips in place. And these strips are kind of um, multi-purpose. They're going to help make this box a lot more sturdy and also add a little bit of dimension to our project. And I'm wondering if I maybe got that S upside down. I think I did. I think the wider part should be at the bottom. Luckily there, an S is an S, almost regardless of how you look at it. So that's okay. There we go. <clears throat> All right, cookies. It's making me hungry already. Now the rest of these strips, it doesn't matter what order they go in. Okay. so. We've got those ready to go. Let me just put those off to the side for a second. And I'm gonna grab the main structure here, which you can see I've already pre-folded. Okay, and what we're gonna do first off is join these two together. So we're gonna start off by putting glue on this long tab here. And my glue bottle is playing games today. It's uh, really testing my, my skills and my patience, but that's okay, I will overcome. 
All right, so we'll grab the other side and just connect it right to that tab that we just put glue on and press that down. Okay, and we can take it and fold it at that seam that we just connected the two sections to and press that down again. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna join the other end of this to make this all one continuous piece. So go ahead and apply your glue to the other tab. And if you need to, go ahead and spread that glue out to the very edge. Now we're working on, this is all pretty much white with a little hint of gold. So if you accidentally spill some glue, I'm gonna do it this way because it's not completely lining up, probably because of how I folded it. And that little piece is kind of annoying. Just have to work around it. See, and that's already, there's parts that just don't want to hold and there's parts that do want to hold. There we go, I'm just gonna fold it over onto that seam to make life easier for me. And I'll press that down. I may need to go in and add a little extra glue to that section, we'll see. We'll see if it sticks for me. Okay, so far so good. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like it's gonna stick. Okay, we'll move that back. Now, it's a little tricky here because we're dealing with a lot of sides, but we'll get it. So we're gonna close this up now. <clears throat> and actually what we can do, just to make it easier so it holds its shape, we can stick this in there. We don't need to glue it or anything, just stick it in. And you can see how that kind of helps hold the shape a lot better for us. So now we can go ahead and put some glue on these tabs. I'm being somewhat generous with the glue here because we've got a lot of tabs here. We've got 11 tabs total. And let's spread that glue out to the very edges. And we're going to close up the bottom. And again, we got to work kind of quick here. We got a lot of sides to deal with. Okay, if that don't all stick, it's okay. So when we close this up, focus on getting this side aligned, the side opposite of the side that is already anchored. And having that little piece in there really helps. And if you need to, you might need to kind of adjust and nudge some of these walls a little bit in or out to get them to line up nicely. And usually when you get one side lined up, the other side just kind of falls into place. And once we have that all set, go ahead and just keep running your finger around the perimeter. Just make sure that it is making good contact with that. And then we can take this piece out and push on those tabs from the inside to get the rest of them to make good contact. Okay, and let's take a look and see how we fared. And that looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, good job. Okay, now this piece here, the one that has the little B on it, that is your little liner for the inside. And we're just gonna throw a little bit of glue on the perimeter and then just a little bit in the center. We can take this and just drop it in. It should pretty much find its way. And we're gonna push that down. And that will make this a little more sturdy for us, as well as making the inside look nice. Okay, so we've got a nice interior for it now. And next, what we can go ahead and do is we can put these little strips around the bottom, like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the center here. And I'm gonna use these two in the middle and apply glue to the, just those two there. Okay, and we can go up towards the very edges and the bottom edge as well. And then take that, I'm gonna find, find the part that looks the best here. I think this side looks the best. And we'll get that right on there. I'm gonna make sure that we get that nice and flush with the bottom. And press that down. 
You can actually use your table if you want to press that down nice and firm. Okay, so these two are in place, which means that we can take these two, peel them back, and apply our glue to that. Make sure you get it all the way out to the edge there. You just bring that over and press that into place. Again, making sure that it's nice and flush with the bottom. And then I'm going to use my table to push those into place a little bit quicker. That looks nice. And that just leaves these two on this side. Get those glued down. And again, just make sure that you get some glue all the way out to the edge of that little piece there. Bring that down and over, making sure that it's nice and flush at the bottom. And I'm going to put that on my surface and press down from the inside. And then rotate it one rotation. And you can see here, I've got a little gap. There's no hiding that. It happens. It happens. Just take a scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit of glue on it, tuck it in between those two areas there, and just press that down and hold that down. Give it a little extra love until that fully sets. And you can see how nice that's starting to look. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other half of this. I'm gonna make sure that we place this correctly because if you don't get it in the right spot, you're gonna end up getting an overlap where you have two of these on top of each other. You don't want that. So you wanna make sure that you get it in the correct spot. And again, same as last time, I'm gonna start with the two in the middle here. And again, make sure that you've got it lined up correctly. Nice and flush with the bottom. And use those, use those folded areas to your advantage to help you with the placement. And as always, definitely use the table to help you kind of press those into place. All right, so those are in. You can peel these two back, add a little bit of glue. Make sure you get that glue out to the very edge of that piece. Then bring it in. It should meet up perfectly with the other side. Get those nice and flush with the bottom. And then again, I'm going to use my table to help me push those into place a little bit quicker. There we go. And that just leaves these two. Let's get our glue all the way out to the edge. And bring that over. And there we go. Again, make sure it's nice and flush at the bottom. And there we go, okay. So our little strip is in place. I'm gonna give that an extra press on the bottom there. <clears throat> okay, so now to finish this off, we're gonna start with our cookie, cookies. Okay, and the way this is gonna work is we're gonna take these and we're gonna, you notice how there's a, a tab here. So this is gonna get glued right up to the top and that tab is gonna hang over and get glued to the inside. Okay, so it's gonna go like that with this tab going on the inside. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna spell out cookies and then whatever's left, I'm gonna just put into the slots that are remaining. Okay, so we can start with the large section and just get that glued down. And while we're here, we can definitely put some glue on this little tab as well. And just pick a spot, whichever one. You can use that little fold at the top to help you with the placement. Just make sure you get it centered. And I'm pressing the little tab part in back. And going to press this down now. I can put that flat on my table press down from the inside to get that glued into place. Okay, so there's our C. Moving on to the O. Okay, make sure you get that glue all the way out to the bottom. Now you can see here, I actually grabbed piece number three, but it is the letter O, but I'm still gonna put it in the right spot. I'm gonna put it in section number three. And 
we'll just go, we'll go backwards to do number two. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that flat on my table, press down. There we go, there's our O. Let's go back to number two, since I skipped it. And get our glue on number two, all the way up to the top. Again, use that little fold as your guide. Make sure you got it nice and centered and just drop it into place. <clears throat> and press that down. There we go. And on to number four. I got a little area there that isn't down all the way. There we go. All right, so you get the idea here. You're gonna go one through seven with the letters and then the ones that don't have any letters on them, you just put those in the spots that are left. Just don't spell cookies wrong. Or if you're just gonna spell cook, that's fine too. Although I guess it'd probably be more appropriate to spell out chef. Okay, there's the K. And then the I, E, S. There we go. Just like that, and we're moving right along here. So anyway, you know what you could do too, if you don't want to use this as a cookie jar, because I personally don't eat a lot of cookies. I try to always stay away from sweets and glutens, even though it hasn't been working out very well uh, in COVID. I'm sure I put on a little bit of weight, unfortunately. I think they call it like the COVID-15 or something like that. I heard that term the other day. I'm not that bad, but... Anyway, um, you could omit the letters, and I could see maybe for a Father's Day gift using this uh, to include maybe some rubs or some spices, um, sauces. I know I probably would love to get maybe some hot sauce or something, even though I haven't been eating as much of that either. Thank you, Acid Reflux, for that. Okay, so cookie, cookie. Or you could, you could play a prank on someone and just put one cookie in here. Here's a cookie jar with just one cookie. That could be kind of fun. And the last one here with the letter on it, and then we'll move on to the blank ones. Okay, so that's how we do that. Pretty simple, and again, definitely makes this container more sturdy thickens it up for us okay so there you have it cookies cookies <clears throat> all right so again we have just a few more left here to glue down actually a total of five same process just no letter and no specific order that we need to get these in so don't stress out about where they go just get them in place. There we go. And this is my third project today, and I'm definitely, I'm definitely hitting a flow right now where things are kind of easy. So we'll just continue doing this until we get all of the remaining pieces in place, and then we can start working on the top of our container. Just remember to use the little fold there as your guide for placement and the rest of it will fall into place for you. Okay, so go ahead and finish up the remaining three and I'll see you at the next step here. All right, so I've got a handful left here. Just gotta get them in place. Oops, almost did it the wrong way. There we go. And just smooth that right onto the surface. There we go. And a couple more. Now we didn't do anything crazy with this one here. Um, what I mean by that is not a lot of, well, actually no inking at all on this one. 
thought about it, but chef's hat, usually pretty pristine white for sanitary reasons. So we don't want to muddy it up with any inks. I think the only thing that would have worked would be maybe like a gray, but decided against it because again, you want to keep it looking true to form, nice and clean. Okay, so last one's going on. Again, using that little fold as my guide for positioning. And just making sure that it's nice and centered. I'll pop that down on my surface. And there we go. And won't be adding much else to the base of this at all. So that is pretty much complete. <clears throat> Which moves us to the actual lid. And I've got these two pieces here that we're gonna to put together first. We're gonna form one long continuous piece here. So go ahead and begin by putting glue on this little triangular tab. And I'm just gonna kinda of smooth that out, <clears throat> grab this section, put it right on top here. Basically, pretty much nudging the score mark on the other one. Hold that for a second and you can take it and fold it over onto itself. And just make sure that these lines are right on top of each other. And that will indicate that you've got it nice and lined up. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna close it up by applying glue to this guy here. And get that glue out to the edges. Should be able to do this flat. So there's our tab. I'll take the other end and just line that up nicely. And press that down. There we go. And fold it over onto itself. Press that down. And there we go. Okay. So take this and fold those in, and just like we did with the base, find the little piece with the letter T on it. T for top this is actually the liner that's going to go in here, but while we assemble and put the actual top top onto the top, you can kind of use this to help hold its shape like that. Okay, we can glue that down later. So what we can do, and actually I'm going to do this first. You'll notice that in the center of the shape here, there are some little um, markers, and that's to help us with the alignment of this piece here. So we wanna make sure that we get it in there and it's nice and centered. And there's a little cross in here that's gonna help us with the alignment of uh, the little round parts of the hat. So let's just get that glued into place first, just so that we don't end up crushing this thing later on, okay? Again, use those little guides to make sure that you get it set correctly. Just like that. Okay. And next, we're going to take this and we're going to glue it right to the top here. But we're going to begin by anchoring it to just one of the tabs first. So it doesn't matter which tab you select. Just pick one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. Doesn't really matter. Spread that glue out to the very edge. Actually, it's gonna be kind of covered up, but we still wanna do our best possible work here. So get that nice and lined up with one of the pieces, or one of the sides, I should say, one of the edges. That's pretty good, Leo, good job. Okay, and you can actually drop that down and press from the inside to get the rest of that tab in there. Okay, looks pretty good. We can move that out of the way. Now we are gonna have to put this on all in one fell swoop here. So don't be afraid to use a little extra glue on this, especially if yours has been kind of drying up quickly today. I'm gonna use my finger to spread this out and I don't want it to be tacky or worse off, or worse yet I should say, completely dry when I go to do that. So. I'm just gonna spread that glue out to the edges. 
all the way from corner to corner here. You see that glue is already getting kind of tacky. And I'm going to take this and close it up. I'm going to focus on getting it aligned with this side first. Just drop that right into place. And then you may need to kind of nudge and push the walls in a little bit. And you may possibly have to pull some of them out a little bit. And that's okay. It's a 12-sided shape. It's probably one of the more challenging to try to keep everything all nice and lined up, but you can do it. And I've got mine pretty good, I think. And I'll just kind of keep running my fingers along the perimeter here. I can take that out, flip it over, and push down on these tabs from the inside to get them to make nice contact all the way around. And then we can kind of pick this up and check our work. I can already see that those two sides that were a little tacky and not as wet did not hold for me. So I'm gonna take a strip of scrap paper, put a little bit of glue on there, and just tuck that in between these two layers, paint a little bit of glue on that, and just press and hold those areas a little bit longer to make sure that they stick nicely for me. I've got this little area here that I want to clean up as well, just like that. And I'll press and hold that down for a second, or two or three, whatever it takes to get it to stick nicely. Okay, the rest of it looks pretty darn good, except for that spot. Was I just at that spot? This 12-sided shape is really getting the best of me here. Not really. Okay, and we'll press and hold that down for a few extra seconds as well. Okay, so that is the main part of our lid, and you should, should be able to get that on there nicely. Beautiful. Okay, so we can flip this over, and we're going to put some glue along the perimeter here, and a little bit on the inside. And this is the little piece with the letter T on it, T for top. And it's also a liner to make it look pretty and also to make it a little stronger. And just push that into place. Okay. Now the fun part. Okay, so there is our top. And what we're gonna do next is we have three of these, okay, and you want to fold these at the score marks, obviously, and then we want to fold these down. Actually, it would probably be a good idea to fold them out. And what we're going to do, you'll also notice that there is a little tab up at the top. You can fold that, get that ready to go, because we're going to put glue on just these little triangular parts. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to glue this to the side. Glue that right to the side of our little hat. Okay, and we wanna make sure that when we do that, that we get it nice and flush with the bottom here. So just like we've done in a, a bunch of the projects from this bundle, let's start with the middle two. And just make sure that you get some glue out to the very, very edge here. Okay, and make sure I'm doing this right. You want these guys to be up at the top. So you wanna go like this. So line that up nicely with the folds as well as the bottom. Okay, so I've got glue on just these two right now. And again, just make sure that you've got it nice and flush with the bottom. You can actually put this down on your surface if you want and give that a press from the inside. That looks good. Then we can take this and peel it back and just apply our glue to this one section here. Again, making sure that I get a little bit at the bottom here so it's nice and sealed and flush with the very bottom, like so. I'm gonna use my table to press that down and then move on to the last section of this segment. We've got a total of three of these. 
that we need to glue down. And then we're gonna do some training with this too to kind of help get its shape. So pop that right on into place. And again, make sure that it's nice and flush with the bottom. Put that down on my surface and press down. All right, so we've got four of them in place. That looks good. Pretty much spot on. We'll grab the next section here. And these are gonna go here. So I would start just like we did the first time with the middle two. Again, make sure you get that glue out to the very bottom so everything stays nice and nice and lined up. I'll pop that right into place. And I can do it this way. Actually makes life a lot easier. But make sure you get it nice and aligned, nice and flush with the bottom. Okay, I can put that down on the surface, press down from the inside. Try not to bend these too much. Okay, that just leaves this one and the one on the other side to get into place, like so. Okay, just fold that over. Put that down on your surface. And then one more right here. This is definitely uh, something different, huh? A little, little different than usual, but it'll all make sense in the end. Just take that glue, bring it all the way down to the bottom. And using my fingers here and kind of pushing down to nudge that into the correct spot so that this whole thing all the way around is nice and flush once we get that second layer in place. Okay, <clears throat> that's good. And that just leaves one more here. So again, make sure you fold everything. And I'll fold that back. And we'll start with the two in the center. Make sure you get that glue to the bottom like so. And let's find our, our middle piece here. There it is. So I put glue on the two center ones just to start it off. Okay. There we go. Nice and flush at the bottom. And then we can take the remaining two and get those glued down. Fold that over. Should meet up nicely with its neighbor there. Make sure again, it's nice and flush. You can push down from the inside. Almost looks like some sort of a um, Native American headwear. If you dress this up with some beautiful feathers and colors. Okay, so we're gonna bring that one down, put that last one in place. Again, just make sure that it's nice and flush with the main structure that we already assembled. Press that down. Okay, and that's it, it's done. There is your chef's hat. Just kidding. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab my dowel and we wanna fold these down. We're gonna do a little bit of training with this. Okay, I've got a three eighth inch dowel and what I'm gonna do, let's see what angle this is easiest from. I'm gonna start here right at the very base of this, right where it's folded. And I'm gonna pinch that between my finger and the dowel and I'm gonna train it like that. Okay, so that's fine. So go ahead and like I said, just kind of take and train, take and train this whole thing a little bit. And again, we're gonna kind of glue it down like that. So that's totally fine. Just try to be consistent with your training. And I would especially kind of give it a little extra bit, a little extra oomph there right at the very base of it. And 
it should just kind of it'll be pretty consistent once we get everything glued down okay it's kind of kind of different but that's exciting because who wants to do the same thing over and over and over again that's good okay there we go get these all nice and curved nice and round that's, and before you know it, we we'll have our nice little chef's hat here, and we'll be ready to go. Now, when we glue these down, I kind of want to do it in order. Okay, so I'm going to start with one, then we're going to work our way either clockwise or counterclockwise. So what you want to do is you've got you've got this little um, area here with the score mark. I'm going to go a little bit past that score mark. Bring that in to that little, uh, you want the tip of this to touch the center of our little X. Okay, and make sure that you've got it nice and centered relative to itself. And press that down. And again, this is it's going to be kind of fighting itself a little bit, so you want to hold this in place until you're sure it's fully set. Okay, so you can see I'm working on this one here. And there we go. And then we're gonna go on to the next one. So get your glue, and you can go just a little bit past that score mark. You don't even need to fold it at the score mark. I just folded one of them to show you that the score mark was there. And this one's gonna overlap this guy just a little bit, and that's fine. Just try to get that the tip of that right into the center, touching that little center part. Okay, so grab your next one, throw a little bit of glue right on the tip there, just a little bit past. And again, it's okay if this overlaps a little bit, it's going to anyway. And just get that nice and aligned. You want that hitting the center. And just press and hold that down while it sets. And the, uh, the top of this actually is a styrofoam ball that I covered with glue and then sprinkled some, uh, what's it called? Some glitter on. Okay, so moving right along, I think you get the idea here. Essentially, we're just gonna work our way around all 12 of these strips and glue them into place. Now, technically, they should just kind of butt up next to each other. The, the points are going to all meet in the center, but they should align perfectly in the center, almost creating like what looks like a little pizza, which is appropriate for our little chef's hat. But here you just want to be patient, making sure that it's making good contact. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And then we've got, like I said, I've got a little, uh, got a little styrofoam center that we're going to put into place here. Again, when you're grabbing this next one, it's okay if this side overlaps on top of the previous one. Okay, just hold that in place. Like, see how they're overlapping. Just make sure that you do it either clockwise or counterclockwise so that the overlap maintains the same side. Perfect. Moving right along. Okay, and there is our overlap. Get that nice and centered. I think I might be kind of coming out a little bit. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, halfway there. And that's gonna be it. Put the styrofoam ball in there. I'm going to hot glue that. And then of course, uh, I think the only thing we're doing with this one is I've got, I've got some gold pearls that we're gonna put around the top uh, along the sides here. And you can see how that's starting to look. It's actually looking really cool. 
So almost there and we'll be done. This is the third project I've done today. Had a lot of fun, feel a little tired. So a lot of crafting, but I do feel relaxed. I've been working with my hands all day in a nice calm environment. I cannot complain, life is good. Could be worse. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are, you know, finding some calm amidst all of the crazy. You know, um, hopefully <clears throat> the vaccine is looking promising. And I, I didn't want to talk about this in the videos because I feel like they're kind of timeless, but you know, it's a little time capsule for me too. So it'll be fun to one day look back at all this and be like, yep, I was a part of it. Okay, so there's the next one. You can see that there is a slight overlap and that's totally normal. Just hold that in place. And if we need to kind of flatten these out a little bit, we can. I think they're just about at the right, at the right bend. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, over here. Or am I? Wait a second. Yeah, see, I goofed that up. That's okay. There we go. I guess you could always slide it under. That's fine. It may get a little more difficult if you don't continue with the overlap and you get about two or three deep. It may be difficult to go back and fix it. So just try to be conscious of maintaining that, that whole idea and concept of overlapping these in the same direction. Um, but as I was saying, you know, it's been a, it's been a strange year. Definitely one for the books. Hopefully, probably a book that I'm going to go bury somewhere at some point and you know, not revisit anytime soon. <laughs> All right, getting there here. A couple more to go, three more to go. Just kind of continue making sure that the points on these are all meeting in the center now. After you put a few of these down, it may be hard to see that cross. I think for me, it's basically impossible, but I have a reference point because the first few that I put down are all pointing at the center. If you're off by a smidge, don't worry about it. It's all gonna be covered up. Just do your best. Let's see how that's looking. I mean, it's looking very consistent. I'm very happy with that. All right, so a couple more to go. Let me get that on there. Again, nice little overlap there. The point in the center. They got a little bit of, they're kind of fighting a little bit here for, for space and that's okay, it's expected. Hold that down. <clears throat> this is our last little piece that we need to glue down. That's gonna cover up all of this craziness here in the center. And then of course, I'm gonna get my, let me get my hot glue gun. All right, so last one, that one's going right there. And we're gonna overlap that, and then that one, this one's gonna come up, up like that, that's fine. Actually, I need to keep it consistent, there we go. Hold that in place. And there we go. Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with that, okay, so now, you have this little funnel here in the center. This piece is gonna get glued right into the middle. So go ahead and throw some glue on the inside there. Pop this in. Try to line it up as accurately as you can. And again, that's all, this is all gonna be covered up with my um, styrofoam ball. So I'm not really overly concerned about what this looks like inside. It's more or less just to hold everything, make it a little bit stronger and also clean it up a little bit. Now let me show you my little styrofoam ball that I coated with uh, glitter. And we're gonna take this guy and I'm gonna put some hot glue in here and he's just gonna sit in the middle and I'll probably put a little rhinestone on top, a little cherry on top, so to speak. And there is our lid. 
And there is our cool looking chef's hat. So that's it guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a moment and visit our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product or freebie or any other video. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it and so would the almost 27,000 dreamers that inspire us. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group or you can type in this little URL and it'll take you right there. So anyway, fill this with whatever you want, cookies, hot sauce, um, rubs, whatever it may be. Um, I'm sure whoever gets it, especially someone that's good in the kitchen, will certainly appreciate it. Um, but anyway, have a great Christmas, happy holidays, and I look forward to crafting with you again.